Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about automatic scaling in auto scaling groups. So basically we'll be discussing about dynamic predictive scheduled policies. So let's go ahead and jump to the video. So in the previous video, we have created auto scaling groups. So let me give you a gesture how we have created this. So initially you have to create the launch template. So you just need to, you know, create launch and uh, just select the default options. So that's it you have to do. So just give the name, version and uh, AMI. Uh, click the quick start and select the AMI and just, uh, you know, create launch. So we have discussed this in the previous video. So do check that out. So once the launch template is done, the next thing is you have to go to the auto scaling groups. So when you create this, you can just select your auto scaling group and uh, auto scaling group two. Let me add that and uh, click next, select the availability zones and uh, that's it. Now you have to just go next, that's it. So once it is done, you can just go ahead and create it. So this is how you have created the uh, auto scaling group. So now let's uh, jump into automatic uh, scaling. So just click uh, the auto scaling group that you have created. And here you can uh, find the section called automatic scaling. So click that. So you, you have uh, different options. See dynamic uh, scaling policies, predictive scaling policies, and scheduled uh, policies. So to know more about, you can just click info and read regarding this. So let's go ahead and create a dynamic uh, scaling policy. So basically in this, we have three target uh, tracking scaling, uh, step scaling, and simple scaling. So coming to the definition according to the docs, uh, the target uh, tracking scaling, it automatically maintains a specific metric. For instance, you can uh, set the target uh, for the CPU usage as 60%, and uh, then the system adjusts these resources to keep it close to that level as your application demand changes. So that is what the first one is. So you can uh, select the metrics type based on your needs and the target value and uh, the instant form, and just go ahead and create. So that is how we can create the target uh, uh, tracking scaling. And the next one is step uh, scaling. So it defines different uh, scaling actions for uh, distinct uh, metric ranges. For example, you can instruct your uh, system to add one instance when the CPU usage uh, is between 60 to 80 percent, and then add two instances when it exceeds 80 percent. That is what step scaling is. So for this step scaling, you need to have this CloudWatch alarm. So if you don't have, you can create one and add. Uh, so, oh, <laughs> excuse me. So whenever uh, you know you have this alarm, you can just take the action. You can add, remove, and set to those budget capacity. You can add those capacities here. So once it is done, you can just click create. So that is what step scaling is. The next is simple scaling. So it's a manual approach where you can directly specify uh, when to add or remove the instance based on your application straightforward requirements without predefined roles. For example, you can add the instance every time your application request per minute exceeds 1000. So based on units, you can just add it the simple routing. So basically these are three different routings and uh, dynamic uh, scaling policy. We will also discussing uh, more depth uh, about this in the further videos coming to the next one, which is uh, predictive scaling policy. So click that predictive scaling policy. So predictive scaling policy is an advanced uh, cloud computing feature that uses historical data and machine learning to forecast uh, future uh, resource requirement. For instance, uh, it can predict increased web traffic during a specific time and automatically add more servers in advance to handle uh, that uh, expected load, ensuring a smooth and uh, user experience. So you can just click create and add the name and add the metrics and the target utilization. So it's nothing but uh, uh, it is what each instance should ideally receive uh, or use. So that is what it is. Uh, and uh, coming to the buffer uh, maximum capacity. So you have to choose how much uh, additional capacity to use when the predicted capacity is close to or exceeds the maximum capacity. So the value is uh, specified as a percentage relative uh, to predict capacity. So that is what uh, it is according to the docs. So go back and the final one is scheduled actions. Click here, scheduled actions and 
you can see. So basically the schedule actions in auto scaling group allows you to plan the automatic uh, specific uh, scaling events at a predefined times or dates. For example, you can uh, schedule the addition of extra instances during anticipated traffic spikes. For example, uh, e-commerce websites flash sales or reduce the instance during low traffic hours to save the cost. So you can just, you know, add the specific time, uh, specific date and time, the time zone, and you can, you know, desired capacity, minimum capacity and maximum capacity. So desired capacity is like what you have to, you know, maintain that. So we have discussed about this uh, in uh, the previous video. So do check that out. So uh, this video is like mostly like theoretical. So we have uh, discussed about uh, dynamic uh, predictive and schedule. So we'll be looking at uh, this in the further videos. So coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you've liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.